Hey YouTube, uh, today we're going to be talking about rain barrels. Now, I've been making rain barrels for years, uh, but I've had a lot of trouble trying to uh, get them to easily connect together, to be able to easily have an overflow that doesn't lose water and uh, doesn't give you uh, a hard time trying to filter it and all that wonderful stuff. So, of course, you've seen my other previous rain barrels. These are the first ones. I got the overflow, which is amazing, that has the roof washer on it. That's great, okay? But if you see here, I've been working on this where, one, you have to drill the top, and you have to uh, put a little netting on there, so it's an open system all the way. Then, uh, I went ahead and drilled holes right here so that I could have an overflow in between with a little coupling in the center. Now, it's good, but the thing is, is one, you would either have to put some caulk around here so that uh, you don't have any leak, or if you want to make sure you can clean out the barrels every year, you're going to have a leak and you're not going to have as much water that you can have. Um, also, you know, I tried to do a little bit of a bigger pipe so that it could overflow faster. And if you see here, this is the line, so I'm missing all this water right here. I could have this much water that's not in there. You know, so that's another bad, bad, bad thing. Now, I'm also running it, and I, you know, I measured down, but since these are two different barrels, uh, they don't actually sit the same exact height, so this one here is actually having to work uphill to overflow into here. And while it's trying to do that, it leaks out the side here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's wet. It leaks out the side there before it's able to get in here, so you're losing a lot of water. Uh, so basically, I came up with a wonderful solution. Uh, I actually saw a video on this that a guy uses similar products but puts his barrels upside down. Now this is quick and easy because this gives you the ability not to have to drill a single hole except for on the bottom where you have the spigots. So you would have to draw, uh, drill a hole on the bottom to put the spigot in there, but that's quick and easy and you can do that in about a minute. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through the parts. Uh, I got everything at Home Depot, so I'm going to tell you what the SKU numbers are and the prices. You can actually make a rain barrel. I get these rain barrels right here, these barrels. I get these for two bucks at a local uh, car wash. I rinse them out thoroughly so that uh, I don't have any residue or anything like that in there. And then I use it for uh, rain barrels. So basically what you do is you have a 2-inch Schedule 40 PC male adapter, which is right here. Now if you see this guy, it actually just... Uh, let's see. It actually just screws out. So if you see here, you can actually screw it out, and it goes into the small bung of the barrel. So basically, you take that, it goes into the small bung of the barrel, no holes drilled, and it's going to keep it as a closed system. It goes really tight so that it doesn't leak. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have a length of each pipe. Now, this here is exaggerated on the height that it is and the length that it is because I haven't cut it all. I just wanted to get out here and be able to share this with you as soon as possible so that you guys can get the idea and know what it takes to do it. So you have the uh, Schedule 40 uh, PVC 2-inch male adapter. The Home Depot SKU number is 610 three six four and that's a dollar twenty okay so that is just the connector uh, for a barrel so every single barrel is going to have one of those now if you're the starting barrel you're going to come up here and you're going to have this overflow valve and this is going to be a closed T overflow valve and that one is going to be a two inch DWV and it's an all hub they run a dollar fifty seven and the SKU number is one eight nine six eight five so basically what it does is you have the downspout connected to this it flows down and it fills up the barrel and as soon as it fills up the barrel it comes up and it overflows into the next barrel so the final part that we're going to have on the remaining connecting barrels so you can have you know 100 barrels 200 barrels 300 barrels or you could just have one or two now this one here is the 2 inch PVC S by S by ST it runs 244 this is going to be your most expensive part uh, the SKU number is 232726. Now basically what it does is once again, it comes over here, it falls down into the barrel, it fills it up, and as it fills up, it comes back over, it runs into the next barrel, and goes in. 
So it would have the same setup right here, and you could expand to as many barrels as you want. Now, as you see, I had a problem with these other barrels. You know, I had to drill the top so that I could put in the wire mesh. I had to drill the holes in the sides, but as I measured it, you know, not all barrels uh, were the same height, so I lost out on barrels. So all of these barrels here, I'm actually going to convert into, um, you know, garden beds. So basically, I'll cut them in half and I'll have big, giant pots so that I can grow, you know, a uh, lemon tree or an orange tree or I can grow tomato plants or whatever. So once again, you need this part here, this part here, two inch pipe, and this part here. Now on the very end, what you would do is you would run your two inch pipe at the end and you would run it over to the edge of the barrel and you would have one of these. So basically what it's going to do is water always follows its level. So if this is higher than the rest of it, it's going to stay a closed system and then it'll have the ability to overflow. Now with this, all you have to do is put the wire mesh netting right on top uh, and then you only have to have one wire mesh netting um, as opposed to having one for every single barrel like I have here. I got one here. I got one here. So it's going to save you a bunch of money. You know, for the total barrel, if you pay two bucks for the barrel, you know, you are going to be able to make as many barrels as you want. And each barrel is going to be about five bucks. So you make a rain barrel for five bucks as opposed to paying anywhere from 60 to $100 over at the store quick and easy. Now, the great thing is, is you can actually go to your Home Depot, tell them these part numbers. They can actually look them up and find them for you quick, easy, and fun. So thanks for coming with me, seeing the easiest, simplest, cheapest way to make expanded rain barrels, whether you want 100 gallons or 100,000 gallons. You have the ability to recycle. You have the ability to save money. You have the ability to be self-sufficient in your urban homestead at your house, on your farm, or whatever. And, uh, you know, I don't want you to waste the time that I did trying all kinds of different options and, and stuff like that. You know, I, I probably wasted about 10, 15 barrels. I used to sell these barrels, and I used to do the overflow downspout for just one single barrel. But this is expandable to as many barrels as you want. It's going to give you as much water as you want. It's cheap, quick, and easy. All right, so please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please spread the knowledge. Let people know how they can save water and use it for their plants. All right, I'll talk to you later. Thanks.